Hey, how are ya? Hi. It's Thursday today. It's Thursday and I'm just waking up. And I need to oil pull because my breath, like, my mouth is so like dry and stuff i just need to like get my like mouth together you know what i mean but we'll get to that um yeah today's thursday and the sun is supposed to be out it's supposed to be like 50 degree 50 yeah just 50 but at least it's not like in the 30s like it was gonna be yesterday so we're gonna see what we get into today i'm crusty as fuck right now we're gonna get ready to go to the gym and then we're gonna have our whole entire day together. I do need to DoorDash at some point, but I wanna get in this sunshine before we do all that, so. Spend the day with me, question mark? You have no choice. Before I go to the gym, I'm just gonna wash my face off with this Meissler water. You know the drill, you know the zill. You know the drill, you know the zill, you know the drill, you know the zill, you know baby. Don't get it twisted, baby. Okay, but I've been doing good. Like, I've been going to the Red Effect gym for five weeks now consistently it's not that i wasn't working out consistently beforehand it was just the fact that i wasn't on like a workout routine so this is kind of like made me have more of a routine so i'm feeling like organized in my life and stuff like whenever i have like a routine or like a schedule i feel more like put together in my life so today at 11 what time is it babes Today at 11, I'm doing um, glute fire and core fire. So I've been doing glute fire and, and full body workouts. And the workouts change every like six weeks. So that has me fucked up, but it's week five. So it'll be changing soon. Or else I'm gonna go fucking crazy. Or else I'm gonna go fucking crazy. So I've been really wanting a camera like to actually sh like shoot pictures with. Like I have this camera which is the Canon G7X which I really love for vlogging and pictures. Like the pictures are chef motherfucking kiss. But I wanted more of a like photography camera where you can like actually hold it and get up into that shit. But I was like looking online and I had messaged one of my friends online like what kind of camera she had because her camera was looking crisp as fuck so i was like girl what one do you have and um she had told me she had like a sony something that was like a really nice camera when i looked it up but right now i don't have the funds to be supporting that so i was like okay so i'm not gonna be able to get a camera like that but maybe i can just go get like something to shoot photos with um that's cheaper or I'm not getting it the fuck at all <laughs> until a later date. But I was like, let me look up some shit. So I typed into camera. I literally typed in camera to my maps on my phone. And I found a camera store in like my local area. And bitch. Tell me why I got this camera for $85. It's a Sony A330. And it's so amazing. I haven't really shot with it yet, but I'm trying to go out today and shoot with it. That's like what I'm trying to do. So we're going to be doing that. I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm like flabbergasted because I never thought I'd like have this in my hands at this point. I was actually thinking about financing one. Like you can just like go to like Best Buy or something and like 
finance one where you pay like $40 a month, which I don't mind doing. I actually will finance something. But I kind of was like, no, I don't really need to be doing anything and like paying for something every month right now. Like I already have shit to pay for every month. So, mm -mm. so we got this instead. So yeah, I'm just like really, really happy about this because now when I go to LA, I'm going to have my camera ready. And that's another thing too, like I wanted to be able to like have a camera in LA that wasn't just my vlogging camera. So, okay, so let's oil pull. And the reason why I have this face on is because I've been using, um, it's like regular coconut oil that's like not liquid at all. So it, the texture of it until you get it into the liquid state like makes me want to gag but I've just been like doing it with my finger because I don't have like a spoon nearby and I legitimately don't give a fuck. So just scoop it with my finger. Mmm. <gasps> Mm -mm. This part's the worst. Now we're working. Mm hmm. Ten minutes. I'm ready to go to the gym. I'm ready to start my day. I am ready to begin on my quest for the next 24 hours on March 28th, 2024. Okay, so I'm out here at the in the parking lot of the store, of the health food store. I just got done working out. Well, not just got done. I probably got done working out like an hour ago. And I was debating what I want to do because it's like I'm kind of, I'm not hungry, but I wanted to get something to wet my palate. But like, baby, I just like am indecisive as fuck. I've been like indecisive about everything I'm doing lately. So um, I'm trying this. The Odyssey Mushroom, like, energy drink. Mushroom Elixir. So let's see about it, see about it, see about it. I'm trying to peel this thing off so I can, like, get into the whole can. Ooh, ah. Odyssey Mushroom Elixir, Energy and Focus, Sparkling Blackberry Lemon Twist, Lion's Mane Cordyceps. Oh shit, there's 85 milligrams of caffeine, and I don't really do caffeine. Is that a lot? I'm Googling it. Oh, you can have up to 400 milligrams a day. But while most 12 ounce cups of coffee maintain 90 to 120 of caffeine, one 12 ounce taller small cup of Starbucks is far stronger with about 260 milligrams of caffeine. So 85 milligrams really ain't that much. I haven't eaten today though, so that might be, I might be off the walls. <laughs> Because that's what I need. I need to eat. Like, I went in there thinking I was going to get a smoothie and then didn't because I saw this. So maybe I'll drink this, see if I'm feeling, like, off the wall. And then, um, see what I do. Let's just try it, though, first. Just give her a whirl. Flavor is good as fuck. Blackberry lemon twist. That's good. 
Why does it taste like kind of like gum after? Like, like a mint gum. Baby girls. Ew. Because I also haven't been having my mushrooms. Like how, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I was doing dabbling into mushrooms. But I haven't ordered any because, actually I might order some before I go to California and have some when I go there. Yeah. But it's like $100 for like the pack of 10 that come with five in each pack. It's not a bad price, but it's just I don't have all the funds in the world anymore, so. This will have to do. This isn't psilocybin, which I like, but this is lion mane, cordyceps, mushroom, ginseng root extract. I'm like down to here and I'm feeling a little silly. I just drove to the park. So now we're by the Walsa. You see? I don't know if you can see it, but I'm by the water right now. And it's 46 degrees. Like I thought it was going to be warmer. I wanted to shoot with my camera. It's just like the weather is not for me today. I need it to be warmer so I could be comfortable while I'm taking pictures, but I still might go out here. I mean, like, nothing's really been, like, catching my eye. Like, if there were leaves on the trees, it'd be a whole different story for my eye. But it's so ugly to me when the leaves are not on the trees, and that's sad, because it's like, I'm sorry, I think you're ugly without the leaves on you. I mean, not ugly, I guess, just, like, <laughs> okay so okay okay so now it's only gonna be 48 degrees today so they changed it they it literally changed right before my eyes so now it's gonna be 48 degrees at least it's sunny outside however i don't think today is going to be the day that i really get into my camera like that tomorrow is 52 degrees and sunny Okay, time out because I'm starting to like feel some type of. <sighs> oh my god! No, like this is not okay. Like, don't take this like at work. I mean, I guess, but like, are you gonna bounce off the wall? See, that I'm crazy. See, me and like, <laughs> like I get so crazy off stuff. Like, I have to control myself because now I'm literally about to start, like, cracking up or something. Oh, my God. This just, like, hit me out of nowhere. I kind of have to poop, too. Like, it definitely stirs your bowel movement. It stirs your bowel together let me finish this and see how I feel because right now this is fucking crazy how I can describe it is just like it's just how it is when I do mushrooms. Like that feeling when like you just like get calm but like silly and you wanna smile and laugh. I'm not like focusing in on anything. Like if I was like at work or something, I don't know if I'd be like dialed in. I don't know. I have no clue. I guess I'll never have to be dialed in like that ever again. Like I need to like change my association of like what I think work is because what I used to think work is was being dialed into something that you don't want to do and you need to be dialed in those days are over for me work is fun work is play I'm creating a new definition for myself of what work is okay so no 
I don't need to be dialed in on a computer. It feels so good to set that boundary for myself. <laughs> like, no, I don't want to do that ever again. So I'm not going to. No. The way I have to go to the bathroom is not okay. I'm sitting here in my car. Where do I go? Where is the nearest McDonald's? <laughs> Cause my booty hole is about to bust open. <laughs> Seriously. I, like I actually have to go. I actually have to go poo. <laughs> so bad I've got to leave. I've got to leave the park and find a bathroom. So, where am I going to go? I think there might be a, is there a Tim Hortons over here? I might have to hit up the Tim Hortons because that, in fact, is going to make your bowel fucking move. I literally went to the Tim Hortons. You see? That's the Tim Hortons. I literally went in there and I had to go to the bathroom. So, don't play. Don't play about that. If you're like me, and um caffeine really moves you you've gotta drink it before you go or have a bathroom nearby anyways i'm feeling good let's go back to the park okay i'm back at the water ah, i'm back at the water my bowel is clear and um Let's go sit outside. Let me tell you how I feel after drinking the whole thing and it being about 15 minutes since I drank the whole thing. I feel. I do feel relaxed. I do feel calm, like. Like I could just go sit the fuck down and just sit there. You know what I mean? Just sit. That's, that's, just fucking sit, bitch, okay? And that's how I'm feeling, 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 baby. Let's put a little, like, lip gloss on, huh? Gotta have the lip liner. Gotta. Gotta, mama. And then you put your lip gloss on top. Uh -uh -uh. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. And then, ooh. I'll take my red coat out there with me. You betcha. You betcha. Take my sunglasses. You got that right. Perfect. Take my camera. Man, take my camera. Windy as fuck. And I'm shedding tears. But look at that. Beautiful. This is the one that I come to often. I come to like two park areas often. So I'm going to sit out here for a couple seconds and then I'm going to go back in my car because it's just not fucking cold out there. It's just really cold because I'm by the water. But if I was like by somewhere else, it probably wouldn't be this cold. Anyways. Literally just went to the store and bought more. Bought more of the drink. I had to. Because these ones were on sale at a different health food store. I was like looking them up online to check the prices. Check where else sold them. And um, I saw my better health food store had them on sale today. So I'm like, let me go ahead and 
top a couple more. We can have one for tomorrow. I honestly might drink this one right now. Like I need another, like it's not enough to like get you going. I'm like, I have like something wrong with me. I think like I'm like an addict of some sort. Cause it's like, I need more of that feeling that I had. <sighs> like this is like, does anyone else like get like addicted to stuff? Like, okay. I wouldn't say this is the orange ginger flavor and I feel like I'm I already don't like it. I like it. But like I wouldn't say I had an addictive personality to where like I'll start something, get addicted to it and like can't stop. That's not my addictive personality. My addictive personality is like if I get that feeling, I want that feeling, but I know when to like cut it. Like I won't actually get addicted to it. You know what I mean? To where it's like, I need it. I need it. Like that's not my addictive. It's just like I have addict traits, characteristics. Like I could easily be a drug addict if I wanted to be one, you know? why you have to have like um like willpower and your brain in the right place so you don't go crazy overboard but another thing about me is like I like to have fun so when I get in that like mellow headspace I'm like let's go let's get some more so and I'm not smoking today I decided I'm not gonna smoke any weed today so I just want to be like high on life even though I'm off that like lion's mane but It's different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Pull up to the sea with my ceiling missing. Right? When pull up to the sea with my ceiling missing. Hopefully, since I already got my poop out, I won't have to like poop again. This won't like puncture my bowel like it did last time. But yeah, I'd say it's probably now like two hours since I drank that last. And it's kind of like if you need to get another, like, coffee. I don't fucking know. But something about it was making me need that feeling. And it wasn't like the feeling went away. It just was like, you need more of it. Of that good feeling. So. At least I'm aware of my addictive personality traits. For sure. I like a drug. But I, like, don't. I won't do a drug no more but I like the feeling of being fucking high it's just good at this point I'm just like very mellow but like in a good mood good spirits like I haven't been sipping this one fast at all the first one I kind of like drink fast this one I'm taking it slow because it's just like for sippy sip time. But I'm about to go door dashing. Because I got to get this money. 10s, 20s, 50s, 100s. Nigga, I'm going to get this. What is it good? How does this song go? I'm like 10s, 20s, 50s, 100s. Nigga, I'm going to count my money. I don't even know if that's what he said. <laughs> go get that bag. Oh, I gotta go get that bag. Oh, that's me today. It's that DoorDash. Go get that bag. <laughs> so I'm about to go get that bag. Let's see about that because this the, the DoorDash has not been making me the money this week. But it's normally better when the weekend comes. So let's see what this Thursday evening has in store for us. Okay. Moving. Oh my god, I thought there was a promo right now. There's not. I was just about to go. Oh, it's from 5 30 p.m. Shoot. I just didn't feel like door dashing today. I haven't been feeling like doing it, and it's like, girl, you kind of need to.
so I guess I'm gonna do it at 5 30 it's 4 o'clock right now um, so that way I can make better money because people don't be tipping people don't be tipping people be acting like I didn't just drive here for you so anyways not me just getting done crying I just well first of all I just got done door dashing and I was so irritated with today door dashing cause like shit like this is with so much stuff this is the same shit with when I worked at LinkedIn and like when issues happen and there's no one to like report it to like no one actually gives a fuck about their job and like i understand but it's just frustrating so like annoying shit was happening with doordash and whatever that was like testing my patience as fuck and then like after my t patience was tested i just started to like get in my feels because like i just feel like i have no one to like talk to or like go to to cry to like someone who actually like really cares and it, then it was like I was having thoughts of like like one it's sad that I don't have anyone that I feel like I can cry to but when I'm like talking with myself in my head I'm like should I even have like should we even cry to someone like I can fulfill can fulfill that for myself I guess like I can just cry to myself and console myself like I don't know I just was getting in my feels about the fact that when I'm upset about like the things that have happened with my family and you, all you want is like your family to like cry to and you don't have that because they are the problem it like makes me sad and like these aren't like I just don't want to ever put the burden on my friends of this shit about my family like I would never call one of my friends and just like weep to them I just that doesn't that doesn't really like do it for me and I've never been in a situation where I don't have at least one family member where I feel like I can like talk to and they can like actually like make me feel better. So I'm learning how to like console myself and I did it. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of how I can regulate my emotions, but it's still like sad because it's like all I want to do is like call my mom sometimes or all I want to do is like call my dad sometimes, but it's like they don't even know how to like help themselves. So what's the point of even? And they're the people who like cause me the most pain. So it's kind of like, you know, but. So that's where I'm at right now. And that's today. So I'm going to smoke a joint now. And make some food. And um, call it a night. I didn't expect for my day to end in emotional turmoil. I'm actually fine now. I just like really weeped in my car like loud like where you like make a noise and like snot and everything's coming down yeah get into it so other than that today was good i liked trying the drinks and i'm questioning is like is did that bring on some anxiety because like caffeine does like give me anxiety i notice so that could have been like something that like brought on the like anxiety feeling inside of me but i always get more emotional this is fucked up this must mean i need to like like be more in my emotions because when i did not smoke weed all day 
no i notice that when i don't smoke weed all day i'm more like emotional like i'm i feel my feelings a lot like i'm very emotional i've always been i'm a pisces i'm emotional as fuck so like when i'm not high the littlest thought can make me want to start crying so, especially when I'm in hard times. But anyways, I got through it. I love myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm here for myself. If one thing I do know is how much I fucking ride for myself. I love myself. I'll do anything for you. I ride for you. I got you, baby. I will hug you. I will hug you and I will kiss you. Ah, I will give you the world because you deserve it. You never did nothing to nobody. Okay? You never did anything. You never deserve anything. Okay? I love you. Eat some food. Okay? I love you. Bye.